If you met a group of total random strangers, would you be able to figure out who's most like you? Hi, I'm Ava, and welcome to Two of a Kind, where each week a different teen will try to figure out who their secret twin is in a group of newbies. Here's how it works. Our teen and four contestants will take Brat TV's personality quiz, which will be kept secret until the end of the episode. Then, they'll compete in a series of challenges to help our teen pick their best guest for their secret twin. And if the personality quiz proves them right, the whole group could win big. Do birds of the same feather flock together? or do opposites attract? Let's find out. I'm excited. <laughs> I want to find my twin. I'm super happy to be here. I love cooking. Um, cooking is one of my favorite things ever, and I learned how to do that during quarantine. Now all I do is cook, and I love to eat too, so it's perfect. And I'm also a dancer. I've been dancing for 11 years now, and I do all styles of dance, and I love just expressing myself through movement. I am a big family person, and my grandparents are literally my best friends, and me and my papa love fishing together and doing any activity. If I'm like, hey papa, I want to do this, he'll always do it with me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Mason Wong and I'm 14 years old. Hello, my name is Nathan Broxson and I'm 12 years old. Hi, my name is Aya Sufi and I'm 16 years old. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Maurer and I'm 13 years old. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm excited but really nervous. <laughs> For me, 10 out of 10, really excited. A thousand percent all the way. Excited and nervous, I have to agree. I want to see what happens next though, so what's going to happen? Here we go. Got it right here. Okay, so I'm playing the this or that personality test. Let's see, so not sweating it or thinking hard about it. I'm gonna say a six, only because like sometimes I'm like, eh, whatever, I don't care. But then at the same time, I'm like also like really thinking about it. So I can be either way. Confrontational or non-confrontational? we put a three. <laughs> I'm a little confrontational, but I don't wanna talk about that. Okay, decide. Oh my gosh, decisive or indecisive? I'm 10, I'm the most indecisive person you will ever meet. Like, my mom's always like, hey, what do you wanna eat? I can never tell her. I am the most indecisive person ever. That's it. Now you've all taken the personality quiz, let's get into these challenge rounds. We've designed these challenge rounds to reflect your guys' interests and favorite activities. So Sydney, since we all know you love baking, our contestants have to stack Oreos on top of their forehead. Whoever gets the tallest tower wins. Ready, set, go! Okay. Oh. I already oh, have a bad feeling this is not gonna go too well. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. We're gonna we have a Oreo. Oreo. I gotta take my time, guys. Yeah. Look at the Daniel. He's like look eating. Wait. Oh, okay. Well, okay, Aya. Oh, no. I see. Oh, wait. I'm not gonna do anymore. Okay, I can't Mason. Laugh. No, you got this. You got. This. Oh! oh yeah. You made me oh, work no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll keep it at four. I don't think any of you guys are gonna Try, just four. try. Wait, wait. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. no! 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 Face it! Oh, it's over. I have no more Oreos. It's over. I had no more Oreos. Oh, I had seven at one point. She had I don't seven, know seven at one point. I had and seven then how many? Too. At one point. <laughs> I did it like at the beginning. You know when I had all of them? Yeah, like, you had this. You got Okay, Sydney, what do you think of this game? That game was absolutely crazy, but to be honest, I feel like I wouldn't be really good at it. And I, I'd probably just eat the Oreos anyways. <laughs> um, but that was fun, that seemed really cool. Who do you think had the same technique as you if you were to play the game? I think I'm actually gonna go with Mason because I honestly would have stacked all just on top of each other. I didn't even think, I know Mackenzie did like a bunch of different ones. I was trying to do three, but I, I, my forehead was too curvy. <laughs> 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 Kirby's crazy. <laughs> After playing this game, who do you think is the most like you? Right now, I think if I had to rank them, I would go Mason, then Mackenzie, then Nathaniel, and then Kyla. Wow. Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, it's time to get into our next challenge. Let's go. So, I am going to hold up a sign, and this sign has the right order on how to make a very, very tall sandwich. The contestants have to replicate the sign using the right amount of ingredients and replicating it to a T. The person who gets it the quickest and correct wins. You all have clean hands, so I think it's time to go. Ready, set, go. Okay, okay, they all kind of look like they're struggling, but like, I feel like I'd actually be really good at this because I cook a lot. But what is going on? So I don't know how to make a sandwich. We have a very interesting Fred. twist to this challenge. Oh, My dear friend Aya has the fear of lettuce. <laughs> so, she is going to have to conquer her fear. Wait, I can't see Guys, it. speed it up! 
I'm trying. Where's my soul? Wait, you... This is what? a mess. What is this? Ah, oh, no. What is this? Guys, what's going on? You got it. I am the lettuce. <laughs> I have Wait, never that's... seen a more chaotic sandwich making in my life. Is that, is that turkey? No. I'm done. <laughs> How? Wait, <laughs> Mackenzie, you're done? How I'm going to check her sandwich. We have bread on the bottom. Okay. Then there is uh, turkey. turkey. Yes, correct. Turkey. Cheese. Cheese. Tomato. Tomatoes. Turkey. More turkey. Lettuce. Mm. Bread, bread. Turkey. Cheese. Tomatoes. Turkey. Lettuce. Bread. That's correct. Mackenzie wins this challenge. Wait, this kind of eats. Look how cute it is. <laughs> okay, Sydney, what do you think of that round? That looks so fun. Everyone did really well. No. <laughs> the only person that did well was Mackenzie. Everyone else was struggling. And then poor Aya had her fear of blood. <laughs> I would like to give a shout out to Aya, though. I'm very proud of you for conquering your fear. I touched a piece. Oh, <laughs> So what strategy would you use? Would you memorize all the ingredients or would you just go one step at a time? One step at a time for sure because I have an awful memorization so I'm just gonna keep looking at the board and keep going. Okay, contestants, how did you guys feel about doing the challenge? <laughs> I did it to a T. She did! <laughs> Don't look stressed out the whole entire time. Like everyone's running all over the place. I have to ask this question because it's been burning in my mind. Aya, how did you feel doing this challenge? What was running through your head? I'm speechless. Oh, I was running and I was like, I don't want to touch any of this. So that's why I have a half sandwich. <laughs> it's a beautiful half sandwich. Aya, did you get over your fear of lettuce? No, I think this made this worse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How do you guys feel, Nathan and Mason? Oh, this was such an experience. It was so frustrating. I oh. couldn't, I could not focus. Mason uh, was mad making a sandwich. That's, we I got mad Mason. I finished the sandwich, but like, after the kids. I'm sorry. It. I love it's you so, so much, Nathan. It doesn't look right. He made, made, like a, a, salad. Salad. He made oh. a lettuce sandwich. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ask you to rank the strategy starting from who you think did the most, like how you would, and who do you think did it completely, like how you would not do it. Mackenzie's gonna be at the top for me because she made the best sandwich, and I feel like I would make the best sandwich, not to be cocky, but. Um, so Mackenzie, I think I'm gonna have to go Mason. Yeah, then Nathaniel, and then I am your last girl. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> At least she I'm conquered her fear. She did. It's time for our final round. And guys, this means it's the most intense. Bring out the snake! What? What? What, what? what snake? Well, you guys are actually gonna be dancing with snakes. What? Oh. Here at Brad TV, we're very intense. So we're actually just gonna be slithering around the floor and you're just gonna I'm have leaving, to move I'm leaving! Around them. Let's go, guys. I'm out, I'm, I'm out. out. Yeah, Where sure. are you being for real? No, I'm not joking. So are you gonna go get him? Yeah, come on, let's go. Okay, go get him. Wait, what? Actually? <laughs> so actually, that's <laughs> not the challenge. <laughs> I was about to leave. Like, actually, Thank I was like, that's you. Like, you guys are just building up a lot here. So I'm actually gonna have you guys stand in a circle. Since you love to dance and you're a dancer, we're gonna dance. <gasps> Sydney, you'll pick one dance move to start off the circle. The person next in the circle will replicate that move and add one more. The person after will just keep doing that. We'll keep going until someone forgets the pattern or messes up a move. And if you do that, you're out. Are you guys ready? Hopefully my brain. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> On your mark, get set, go. I'll make it a little easy for you guys. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm gonna do a, a round. Okay. Oh, Why? Why? I know that is. That's pretty easy. That was pretty easy. I got this, Mason. I don't got this. Oh, oh. no, I don't. Be positive. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you got this, Kiko. Uh, and then what was it? Oh, oh. shoot. And then uh. this thing. And then oh. yeah. You got uh. this, Mason. Just think it's up. Uh. Yeah. Oh. I mean, he added a little while. Love okay. the confidence. Dedication. Uh, I great. believe it was. You got this. This? Oh, oh, this? Oh, you got this. Yes. Yes. And then. Yes. Um, yes. I'm gonna do a. Uh, what? Yes. Okay, the moves here are wild. Are you gonna do it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna do a round the circle. Wait, I am doing really good though. Go, 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 go. I am killing it. Okay, 
Mackenzie. Okay. The dancer's coming out. Six, one, and two, three, four, six, seven, eight, clap. Disco move. Wait, wait, wait. Did she I'm forget to move? Oh, Mackenzie. Wait, Mackenzie. Wait, no. Mackenzie, you forgot you move. You forgot to finish the yeah. I mean, circle. Come over oh, here. I thought that was one. Mac oh. Mackenzie, you forgot to finish the around the circle. You're out. You're out. Oh, no, Mackenzie. Oh, no. Get out here. But good job, Mackenzie. You killed it. All right, watch this, guys. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. Basically, got and the then move. after that, it was like the. Um, you got it, the, the it was second move. Was a, no, it was coil, right? And then after that, it was the. Um... Oh, oh. I can't. Mason, you, you made this move. I did? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay. I get it. Mason! You're out. I'm sorry, oh buddy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Oh, Love okay. the confidence. Eight. Okay. Oh. 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 Eight. Around the circle. Okay. Okay. Around the circle. Okay. okay. Eight. 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 That was good. That, that went crazy. Was... Come on, Aya. Oh, yeah. Aya's eating this up. Dun, 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 dun. And then we did a boom. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Step, step, step. this round once again i want to see how far i would have gone to but everyone tried their best is it great it's the thought so that counts, counts. yeah guys. it's the thought that counts so contestants how do you guys feel about this round i hated i felt great I, I, I think this is my favorite round i'm not gonna talk it was fun uh i definitely think that split i had no chance oh. no chance you uh. tried your best that's all hey, that matters it was actually yeah. really good and aya <laughs> What was your thought process behind adding that split? I don't know. I just like did it. I mean, like I'm a competition dancer, so I just thought She's like, a free-spirited like, thinking girl. If you had to rank your strategies, what would you rank it? We have Aya, Yay, Ben McKenzie, Nathan, <laughs> and, and, and Mason. Thank you. Mason, Thank you killed it, buddy. So okay, Sydney, what did you think of this whole experience? This was all so much fun, but to be honest, I bonded with everyone. So this is very challenging. I don't know how I'm gonna choose, but this was so much fun. Are you ready to reveal your ranking no. and who you think your secret twin is? No. Well, okay, we're just gonna try. You can start by going from least like you at the very end to who you think your secret twin is. Okay. Hey there. Hi, Mason. How are you doing? How are you doing today on this beautiful, doing beautiful great. day? You're doing amazing. Great. <laughs> Nathan, you see, buddy? Look. I'm just gonna put you right there. This is brutal. No specific order, guys. I'm just, we're just. Okay, you two. She didn't think about this before. No. You two. I don't. I don't know. Cause I feel like we all have so much in common. Um, besides hating lettuce, you know, I don't have like a problem with lettuce. I think that was a personal burn <laughs> if I've ever seen one myself. I think gonna I, wow. I, think, I think this is it. I hope. <laughs> yeah. No, actually I'm pretty confident in that. That's that's my final ranking. Now that you've made your ranking, I'm going to sit in our two of a kind generator. Then we're gonna compare the results to see how it matches up to potentially win big. Here's how the prizes work. If you guess your secret twin correctly, you'll win a big prize. But if you don't, there's still a chance to win something cool if you put the other people in the right ranking. If everyone is ranked correctly, the whole group wins big. <laughs> now I'm going to sit in the two of a kind generator. I'm scared. <laughs> this is a very official process. Oh no, I'm 
I'm so scared. Okay, and your secret twin is Mason. <laughs> Wait. I'm dead. No, no. This is actually the funniest ranking I've ever How? seen. <laughs> There's something wrong with the machine, as you can see. The generator never lies. Her secret twin is the only Mason. So now I'm going to reveal the rest of the lineup. Of course, we know Sydney's secret twin is Mason. <laughs> and then it goes Mackenzie. Oh. Yeah, okay, that means. And then right. Nathan. <laughs> and then <laughs> Dan No, he's crying. He's crying. I mean, opposites do attract. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Mason and I were such a surprise, you did rank Nathan and Mackenzie correctly. So for that, you guys win gift cards and cool rap TV hats. Congratulations. Wow, what a crazy episode. I mean, who would have guessed that Sydney and Mason are twins? Sydney, what you learn from this experience? Okay, not gonna lie, that definitely took a plot twist, but I will say that me and Mason don't necessarily have the same interests, but personality-wise, we're very similar. So yeah. just never judge a book by its cover, because you never know. So That is a great message. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Mason? You never know if you may have similar interests. There could be many different things about, well, you, and so it could connect in much different ways. Me and Mason are gonna hang out all the time now, because in reality, I guess we really are alike. We just yeah. didn't know it, so now we just have to get to know each other better. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll teach him how to dance. Oh, that's all the time we have for today. This episode was so wild, but so much fun. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure you subscribe to watch more episodes like Two of a Kind. Bye, guys. <laughs>